first of all we need to press control shift and escape key this will bring up our task manager and in task manager we're going to disable all such programs which are unwanted and which we are not using so first of all uh, let's look for a program which is uh, which is not required on this computer let's, uh, this one is disabled I don't need Microsoft OneDrive so I'm going to disable it uh, the locker is already disabled I'm going to keep Steam client bootstrapper on so I'm just going to keep that like that and let's close this window and perform a restart so once the restart is done uh, we'll see how our system is now performing right so we disabled the programs and we restart the system it's pretty much uh, okay uh, one more thing that can be tried is to disable your uh, antivirus and for 10 to 15 minutes and see if that makes any difference uh, on your system's performance so do check that uh, just disable your antivirus for a few minutes and see if uh, it helps the next method is to check the drivers uh, if all of them are updated press windows and R key write down devmgmt.fsc it will open up the device manager on your computer now we need to check the most important drivers especially display drivers and then uh, you may go want to check with the audio drivers and the network adapter so let's check the display drivers first and uh, right click on your display driver open up its properties in the properties go to drivers tab and check the driver information like the driver is dated for uh, 7 12 20, 13 and uh, this one is the driver version now once you have noted down all the information just check if the same device or the driver is available uh, you know with the latest version uh, on your laptops or PCs vendors website or the vendor of this display adopters website download that and then click on uninstall drive uninstall driver once it is done right click on your just click on you know scan for the changes it will be detected now go back to display drivers and click on update driver and here you'll need to click on browse your computer um, browse to the location where you have downloaded the uh, latest driver and then uh, once that is done uh, just restart your computer and see if that makes any difference alright so we are done with the display driver installation and uh, the next thing that comes in this process is to scan your computer uh, for the viruses uh, if you have any antivirus installed open that up and uh, quickly scan for any infections uh, on this computer we just have Windows Defender Security Center so we'll just scan this computer uh, using this uh, antivirus we also recommend to have a scan with malware bytes uh, meanwhile this Windows Defender is scanning the system we'll just go here and download malware bytes the URL is given in the video description click on free download and it should begin downloading the installer okay now let's run the malware bytes so the scan is also complete there is no threat found we'll just quickly install the malware virus and see um, 
what are the results with this program okay let's hit scan now button this will scan your computer for the malwares the next thing is to defragment your hard drive if you are using any SSD then you don't need to perform this step but if you are using a, a traditional hard drive then you should go on with this step press Windows and R key and type in DF R G U I and hit enter once the defragment window is open click on your drive and then click on analyze I have SSD so I don't have this option enabled uh, on a traditional hard drive you will see the analyze button just click on analyze and wait for uh, the results once these are done step by step go perform this step with all the partitions uh, once you are done with all check if your system is performing well or not if the fragmentation uh, is done but you still don't feel any kind of difference then uh, the problem might be simply with your computer's RAM uh, we might need to increase the RAM or we might need to upgrade the system if it doesn't support more RAM hope this video helped you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe